is just in. August is hotter than ever at Appalachian Wireless as they are slashing all normal contract pricing on all smartphones by 50% when you sign up for service. Better service, bigger savings. Serving you for the last 25 years at Appalachian Wireless. That you're taking the, the blame on Phelps and Marlon for, for making them lose their insurance. The rift between the Pike County Fiscal Court and the Senior Citizens Program Board remains wide. The board reopened the Senior Citizens Centers at Phelps and Marbone while reducing operations to three days a week at the other centers in the county. At this week's Fiscal Court meeting, Magistrate Hillman Dotson took issue with the blame for the reduction in operations at the other centers, allegedly being laid upon Phelps and Marbone, being reopened. His comments came after Senior Citizens Board member Diana Thacker said hours and benefits have been cut from the board's employees. Now, we didn't. This Senior Citizens Board did not want to close any centers. Right, I understand that. Um, but and, but and you're, you know, putting the blame, you're putting the blame on Phelps and Marbon. These people are losing their insurance, losing their home delivery bills. Everything's being blamed on Phelps and Marbon. And I think that's unjust and it's uncalled for. Well, let me back up. I don't want to blame Phelps and Marbon for it. I'm just, I'm just saying the centers, period. I mean, we don't want to lose any centers, but if cuts has got to be made and stuff, I, I, are we doing them in the right direction now? I, you know, I mean, I got a question that. I, I'm looking at 5,000 bills plus versus 25 bills. Magistrate Bobby Varney questioned the board's action by way of comparing the number of seniors who would not be served by closing Phelps and Marbone with keeping the centers open but operating at a reduced schedule across the board. I do have some cons concerns and some questions about what we're doing now. Are, are we giving the best bang for the buck for our seniors? And I for sure want to do that. Thacker said she was not blaming the Phelps and Marbone centers for the financial hardships of the board. She said, however, that the board's actions helped to balance its budget. Thacker told the court that it cost $95,000 to give raises to the seniors program employees. She took responsibility for that action and acknowledged those raises contributing to the budget problems. Thacker also warned that more cuts are certain to be made in the future. This may not be the end of making decisions with our budget until we sign a contract. The court took no action on the discussion. Reporting in Pikeville for EKB News, I'm Chris Anderson.